Checking out the tropics, we do have a new area that is certainly worth watching. Potential tropical cyclone six. I know that naming has gotten kind of confusing. This was Invest 94. The upgrade to a potential tropical cyclone really doesn't mean that the structure of the storm has changed at all. It is still basically just an invest with a potential to develop, but that classification now allows for watches and warnings to be issued for the islands because we are looking at the winds and the rain to start impacting the islands shortly. Now this will start and likely get better organized as it continues toward the northern islands of the Caribbean, the greater Antilles. That's going to be a big question mark as to the future of the storm. Now right now the Hurricane Center is thinking that it will become Tropical Storm Fred as it moves toward the islands. Then if it moves directly over that very mountainous terrain, has to battle wind shear and dry air, if it's able to survive that long, we may see it trying to move very similar to Elsa, by the way, into the southeastern Gulf by Saturday. A lot of unknowns. Let's start with the track. That is basically the consensus of most of the computer models. Notice the models that the Hurricane Center uses for their track basically fall right, th right within the cone of uncertainty. So the forecast track of whatever is Fred or just an open wave is going to continue moving in this direction. The big question mark is, is it even able to survive? Here's what the GFS is thinking. There's the rotation of the storm gets better organized, then it starts to get influenced by the islands, wind shear and dry air, and it's almost a nothing as it then emerges into the Gulf of Mexico, maybe trying to get some organization before making its way up toward the coast. Point is right now we still have a lot of time to watch it. It'll be a big question though over the course of the week as to what that land interaction, wind shear and dry air actually do to the structure of the storm. Still a lot of unknowns, but what we know right now is that it does not appear to be a threat for us. It looks like it should stay off to our east.